This was two years ago, May 1st, 2016. The fire that later spread to become what we know as the beast, forcing the mass evacuation of Fort McMurray. I'm Carly Robinson in Edmonton, and now some are warning about the next potential mega fire in the tourist hotspot of Jasper. And get my bag, get in my car and go. This is Annaline. She's showing us her candy shop in Jasper. She, like many others living in the national park, has an emergency plan. Everybody says Jasper could be the next one, and it's very scary. It's a very small town, and fire could go through here and destroy everything. Part of the reason for the threat is the mountain pine beetle. The insect is responsible for attacking and killing pine trees while they're still standing, leaving them to burn even more quickly. Really things are redding up. Um, you know, the, over the years we've seen a progression um, in pine beetle dead trees and they stand for several years. The mayor of Jasper says they are working with different groups to lower the risk. But he knows when you compare the forest around Jasper to the green healthy one that burnt two years ago in Fort McMurray or last year in Waterton, it doesn't look good. And so that forest is expected to be much more volatile. Um, it can travel, the fire in that sort of a forest can, can travel much more quickly, which means we have less time to respond. Annalie says the recent wildfires have been a wake-up call and is why she has an emergency kit for her and her kids packed and ready to go at any moment, hoping not to use it this year. Hope all the tourists are good and everybody's good. You know, no throwing cigarette butts out on the forest. And let's hope for the best. Jasper's mayor also tells me he has a warning to anyone planning on visiting the National Park this summer. Come prepared with a 72-hour emergency kit and subscribe to all emergency alerts in the area. In Edmonton, Kylie Robinson, City News.